Am I the asshole for wearing white nails to my best friend's bridal shower? Repost due to length, so. Some background. The bride, 24 female, and I, 25 female, have been best friends for 15 years, and we have always been on good terms with zero fights previously. This may be chalked up to the fact that I absolutely hate conflict so I always try to either de-escalate situations or simply adhere to her wishes. She has been planning a wedding for close to two years now, and she asked me to be her maid of honor as soon as she got engaged. I was ecstatic to be a part of this happy time for her, but that excitement has slowly started dying down because of how she's been treating me the last few months. My final straw with her happened over this weekend during her bridal shower. I arrived early to set up decorations, games, food, etc. before the event because I wanted to make sure she'd have a memorable day. Everything looked beautiful, and when my best friend got there, she looked thrilled. Until she saw my white nails. I could see she was staring at my hands and making a face, but she initially brushed it off when I asked what was wrong. We started to get ready for some fun bridal games when my friend pulled me aside to have a private chat. I assumed it would be about how the day was going, but what she said honestly just hurt my feelings. She told me she wanted me to either rip off my nails or go home because she felt like the white nails were a subtle dig at her or a way for me to take attention off of her as white is 100% reserved for the bride. I absolutely did not wear them on purpose. I had bought cute little press on nails for a date with my boyfriend and just hadn't taken them off. Anyway, I told her no, I would not be taking them off because this situation was honestly ridiculous and it wasn't like I was wearing a white dress or anything to take the attention from her. As I said before, I absolutely hate conflict, so I think the fact I was standing up to her caught her off guard. She looked stunned, and then she started tearing up and saying I was trying to ruin the day for her. Her mom came over to ask what was wrong, and I tried to explain it was just a misunderstanding, but my friend told me to leave because I wasn't respecting her wishes as the bride. I did what I was told and left the event, and now people are messaging me saying I should have just taken the nails off. Her fiancé even asked me to apologize and make up so the wedding can run smoothly in a few days. Apparently she didn't think I'd actually leave and thought I'd rip off my nails after her threat. Honestly, I'm just really confused about how this all happened. It's making me question my friendship with her. My boyfriend said she's acting jealous and I didn't do anything to warrant her reaction. But honestly, I'm starting to feel like the asshole. All I had to do was take the stupid nails off and let the day go smoothly. I genuinely don't know if I fucked up or not, or if she's just being controlling. So, am I the asshole? Not the asshole if this is her hill to die on, so be it. She lost her mind and threw you out for press on nails. If she can't realize she messed up I'd say stay home. Not because you cannot wear white nails, but because of the disrespect and disregard for all your efforts. You sound like a fantastic and very thoughtful friend. But friendship is a two-way street. How does she take care of you? not the asshole. They are nails. I get not wearing a white dress but never heard of not being able to wear white nails. She needs to get a grip and get over herself. Not the asshole. Nails? Really? If her granny comes to the wedding is she going to have to cover up her white hair? This girl sounds utterly exhausting. You didn't show up in a bridal gown, and it wasn't even the wedding. I'm not personally familiar with any rule that says that you can't wear a white dress to a bridal shower, much less white nails. Is white forbidden in her presence from the day of her engagement until after the honeymoon? Ridiculous. This person is not your friend. She has never consider you equal to her in the relationship. She says, jump, you respond, how high, and she is used to this dynamic. All of a sudden, you stood up for yourself and she is upset that she is no longer the boss of the relationship. She wasn't upset at the white nails, she was upset you stood up for yourself. If you want to go back to being the underling, the subordinate, then apologize and grovel, because we all know she is going to want you to grovel. Otherwise, tell her to GTF you and be an adult. Your relationship will change but it will be better for you. Not the asshole. Your friend is being ridiculous. It's quite possibly due to 15 years of you avoiding conflict and her thinking this type of behavior is acceptable, so the sooner you make a stand, the better. Edit. Just noticed that this story and some of our comments have been used as a story in the mirror online. Apparently your friends is so awful that she's newsworthy haha. For anyone interested, here. How dare you outshine me with your white nails on my pretty princess day. Everyone will totally center their attention on you now. S. Said no bride. Ever. Until this harpy. Not the asshole. Eth asshole. 
you should definitely trust your gut and tell her to kya. Because let's face it this conflict is not about friendship to her it's about optics. And that's not a solid foundation for any friendship. Am I the asshole for overstepping my boundaries with my husband when it came to my stepdaughter? I'm a 36F and my husband is a 40M. I have two kids from a previous relationship, and he has three kids from a previous marriage. We share a year-old daughter. My husband's previous wife died over eight years ago. Last Christmas his children asked me to adopt them. I was all for it but I wanted to see what his daughter, 15, thought about it since she's had a tough year. She was very close to her mother until this day struggles with her death. The kids are in routine therapy so I just wanted to know how she would feel about it, given the last months she's really been in a bad headspace. Coming from a daddy's girl, who also lost her father at a young age, sometimes we're not good at accepting change, even when we say we are. Though she said she was still on board, I wanted to ask her one-on-one. -on -one. She expressed to me that she had a change of heart. She felt as if she was replacing her mother. It hurt, but I understood, and I explained to her that I was in no way trying to replace her mother. I explained to my husband that I think we should wait on the adoption, or I just adopt the boys. He wanted to know why, and I explained to him the talk she and I had. He said fine. I came home to my stepdaughter locked up in her room upset. All the kids were more than quiet, and I wanted to know why, because our home is rarely quiet especially with six kids in the home. I'm used to coming home to a noisy house. I found my sons down in the basement playing on their games and asked why everyone was so quiet. He said that my husband and stepdaughter had a big blow up about me adopting them. I immediately got pissed. I confronted my husband and asked him why did he confront her. He said because she lied and changed her mind. That she needs to accept that her mother is gone. I cursed him out. I told him he wouldn't understand if he never lost a parent. That she feels lost. She may even be depressed. This would be something new for her. I told him she would never get over losing her mother. I was furious he even responded that way. He said he didn't mean it that way, but I told him the damage was done. That he should be comforting her instead of being confrontational. He told me I was crossing boundaries telling him how to deal with his child. I told him our child, before flipping him off along with a few other choice words, which were probably wrong. I begged and pleaded with my stepdaughter until she opened the door. I told her we didn't have to talk and that I just wanted to be near her, and I apologized for her father's behavior. She cried a little, there were lots of hugs, and we talked about it. Though she and I are good, she still hasn't spoken to my husband in days and neither have I now his family is taking his side. My husband is a marine and can be harsh in his communicative delivery, which is no exception. I've had to explain to him that we're not his soldiers but his family. Not the asshole. As a step-parent you did everything right, going above and beyond. Your husband, on the other hand, screwed everything up by confronting an emotionally distraught 15-year-old with whom you had come to an understanding with. This will take a long time to fix. I personally don't see how it's crossing boundaries when you're planning to adopt them. You was just making sure her thoughts were still the same, and just because she changed her mind doesn't mean she lied. Not the asshole, but your husband is one. Not the asshole. You're a good mama to those babies and your daughter is lucky to have you. Whether or not you get to officially adopt them, they know you'll fight for them. Dad needs to get on board. Oh my goodness, not the asshole. And it is amazing your stepdaughter has you to advocate for her like this. You are 100% correct. Losing a parent is not something you just get over, no matter how much time has passed. Your SD thoughts and feelings are all valid. Have you guys done any family therapy at all? Maybe being in a setting like that would help SD be able to communicate her thoughts and feelings to her father better than being bombarded by his marine voice at home. Good luck and keep being the great mama that you are being. Not the asshole but how and why do his family know about your marital and family issues? He's not really coming out of this looking like a great father or husband. Not the asshole. He told me I was crossing boundaries telling him how to deal with his child. If the problem is that he wants you to adopt his daughter then you are absolutely right, our child. He should consider this. If you are not close enough to talk to her about a potential adoption then you are not close enough to adopt her. You did the right thing privately talking to your stepdaughter. It sounds like she may have felt pressure to say yes. Your husband sounds pretty hard-headed. I understand why you yelled at him but that likely will make him shut down even more. If the other children want you to adopt them, that seems like a good thing to do. Just because you aren't officially adopting the daughter, yet, doesn't mean you love her any less, and it sounds like she knows this. 
Am I the asshole for not giving my stepsisters access to my hygiene drawer? I'll begin by saying that both families are mostly girls. Mom has two stepdaughters, 17F and 15F. And my dad has three stepdaughters and one bio son, 18F, 15F, 12F and 5M. And there's me 16F. Since my mom has only girls, my dad don't know anything about girl products and I'm not comfortable telling those things to my stepmom. My mom takes care of my hygiene products, mostly pads, skincare, makeup wipes, etc. At her house, she was a small cabinet full of these things, like TikTok restocking vids, that she restocks every month or every six weeks. I take some of these things to my dad's because I spend two three weeks there. I began to have problems when my stepsisters from my dad's side entered my room and took my things without asking. They wore my clothes, my accessories, my shoes and then took the things my mom bought for me. I complained to my dad, but he didn't do anything. He also didn't allow me to put a lock in my room so my mom bought me two tall lockers to put my fave things there. My dad and stepmom didn't like this, but didn't say anything either when my stepdad installed them in my room. Since I keep most of my hygiene products in my bathroom the lockers didn't stop my stepsisters from taking my pads, skincare and stuff. It was annoying because when I needed or wanted to use my things, they're gone. So my stepdad bought me a small cabin with locked drawers to keep it. They complained at this because my dad is aware that my mom has a cabinet stocked with these kind of products and doesn't know why. We can't share. Apparently, they stopped buying these things to my sisters because they knew I had them at home. Yesterday, my stepsister, 15F, came to my room and asked me for a pad. I was annoyed. Yes, but you never say no to a pad. So I went to my bathroom and unlocked the drawer. When I grabbed the bag to take one, she snatched it from my hands and say, thanks, I say, wait, and snatched it back. I gave her only one and then tossed the rest to my drawer and locked it. She said she needed more for her period and I said that she should hurry up and ask her mom for a bag because I won't share more. She called me andasshole and went to accuse me with my dad who demanded I share my drawer with my sisters but I just say no, he grounded me and I'm not allowed to get out of my room now. Maybe I took it too far? Not the asshole. Your mother is not responsible for seeing to the hygiene needs of children who aren't her own. Maybe it's time to spend less time at dad's place. Not the asshole. And let your mom and stepdad know that you are being punished for your dad and stepmom not providing the necessary items to their minor children. Not the asshole, you cannot be expected to supply personal care products for your three stepsisters. I suggest you spend less time at your dad's house because he seems too comfortable with letting your stepsisters take advantage of you. Not the asshole, your dad and stepmom are trying to save money on your mom's dime. They're responsible for buying sanitary supplies for their own kids, and you 100% are not obligated to share. It's one thing for your stepsisters to be able to ask you occasionally for an emergency. But with 18, 15, and 12-year-old girls, how the hell are they not keeping stocks of required hygiene items already? What were they doing before you were around? And why on earth would they expect you to suddenly be the supplier of all those? You're not being in the least unreasonable. Their idea of sharing appears to be astoundingly one-sided. Not the asshole. Stepsisters are for so arrogantly taking your things without even asking at times. Dad is for enabling them and for refusing to help with simple things like a lock for your room. Your mom and stepdad rock. Not the asshole this is where you ask dad and stepmom why they insist that your mother provide the hygiene products for their children. To your dad just say be very clear that what you are teaching me is how I do not matter enough to warrant basic respect from step siblings. I do not take their things or demand that they give me things that come from their other parent and yet I am expected to just look the other way when my things disappear. How about we all just start taking your things, is that going to be okay? Why am I the only one who is expected to endure this and again? Why do you refuse to buy necessary products for you children? Am I the asshole for ruining my nephew's birthday? My nephew's birthday dinner was at Outback Steakhouse, and my autistic daughter has many food sensitivities. I looked up the menu and asked if she could eat anything on it. She said no and asked if she could prepare her own food. I said she could and asked her to keep it simple. She said she would make a hummus and pesto sandwich and apple slices. I said that was fine. I put the food, in Ziploc bags, in my purse. At the dinner everything was fine at first. We all ordered drinks. I got a Coke and daughter got an Arnold Palmer. When it was time to order food, I got the steakhouse salad and asked for an extra plate, and my daughter very non-obtrusively declined to order. She was so quiet and calm that the rest of the party didn't notice. 
When food arrived, I quickly put my daughter's stuff on my extra plate and slid it over to her. Since she was eating off the restaurant's plates, it was hardly noticeable that she wasn't eating restaurant food. My sister, however, saw what I did and got angry. She told me to order my daughter an entree. I said she was fine. Sister got louder and drew the whole table's attention. I tried to divert attention by asking Bill's mom about her garden, but sister got even louder and told me to stop making a scene, and that this was her son's special day and my daughter wasn't going to be the center of attention on son's special day and I needed to stop acting like the world revolved around her. She got so upset that her face turned red, and a waitress came over and asked for our table to quiet down because we were disturbing other tables. I just collected my daughter and left. My sister texted me a bunch of abuse and a Venmo request for $50. I know a salad, that I didn't even get to eat most of, and two soft drinks wasn't $50, so I sent her $20 instead. She's mad as hell. My brother said that sister was tired of it being, always something, with my daughter and even though sister way overreacted I instigated and should have left her home if she, can't handle, a restaurant. But, to my mind, she did handle the restaurant. She didn't make a scene. She just didn't eat their food. Why couldn't everyone just eat their food and ignore my daughters? Not the asshole, your sister sounds unhinged. You literally did nothing wrong or anything to steal the spotlight from your nephew. Your sister did that all on her own. Not the asshole it wasn't a scene until your sister made it a scene. Not the asshole, your sister made the scene, not you. Only thing I might suggest in future is giving the restaurant a heads up about what you're doing. That way they can help you out with doing it discreetly. If your daughter is okay with others handling her food. Not saying you should have to cater to your sister's ridiculous theatrix, and you were completely in the right here. But had the server brought out your daughter's sandwich on a plate your sister likely wouldn't have even realized what was happening most restaurants will be happy to cater to requests like this. Particularly if you stress that it's due to your daughter's autism. Not that she just doesn't like their food. You and your daughter worked out a simple accommodation that allowed her to participate in the meal. With everyone else. Your sister took that personal even though it had no impact on her. Your family ought to back you and your daughter up on this. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. However, most restaurants will not allow outside food because it can violate health codes and food safety so you should keep that in mind for the future. Not the asshole. Your siblings, on the other hand. Wow. I wish you luck. You're gonna need it.